Okay, so this time water animation we will be doing in Filmora. So first we'll start with water flow. I'll drag into the timeline. I want to keep the project settings as it is. I feel like I want the water to come from this side to change the direction. We make sure the footage is selected. Go to video basic and we flip it by pressing this button here. Once you press it, as you can see, the water is flowing in a different side. Then we go to blend mode and now it really depends on the background. I would say you should try mostly overlay soft light or hard light. For me personally, it works best with these three. And in this case, I will go with soft light. All right, so this is how it's looking already. Then we have to make a selection here with Filmora. We have to be very precise with selection. We choose draw mask and we start drawing the mask. All right, one selection is done, previewed. Everything is perfect except this harsh line over there. And to get rid of it, what we have to do is select again the water, right click, create compound clip. Okay, then again, we go to basic, where's the compositing, blend mode, we choose the same as before, soft light, then to mask, and we create a mask. I choose rectangle. And make sure this sharp line of the water is within the square. Scale it. We go to blur strength and we increase blur strength and then invert mask as you can see how it was before and how it's looking after see the harsh line is disappearing and if you play you will see that you have a water flowing very nicely and if you want to enhance this effect let's put the timeline here right click duplicate and then move it above so this way we have two footages stacked up together and as you can see the difference and this way you have an even more enhanced effect. And I have another background, and in this background I will show you how to add a water ripples that are very suitable for a calm lake animation. Again, we drag the effect here, we go to basic, blend mode this time is screen. Now if you zoom in, you can see the animations, right? Looking nice. The next step has to be masking. Go to mask, draw mask, and again be as precise as possible. Once you're done, I can preview. Right, okay, good. And the same applies here in case you want to enhance the effect. Right click, duplicate, and drag it above. And this way you have even more enhanced effect. Even if you want to adjust the opacity a little bit more, go to opacity and reduce or add a little bit more. I trust you find this video useful. If you wish to purchase my effects, you will find a link in the description below.